Hey kids. kids, now we're cooking. I'm Aunt Annie. I'm Grandma Jane. And this week we are touching base on breakfast items since you kids are still out of school. And some of us that are kids at heart, um, all ages should be having breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. And if you recall our last episode, hopefully you're watching them in order. A lot of times that's helpful. You can go out of order watching these, but we appreciate all of our viewers that tune into our show. We think there's something to learn for all ages. We're certainly learning, aren't we, Jane? Yes. But uh, last episode, we made a hash brown casserole, which we said you can have for breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner. We're going to have it tonight. Um, but I like to make it for brunches and breakfast. Um, we said we'd be pulling it out at the beginning of this episode. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be looking at it when the timer goes off and then decide if I need to put more time into it to make sure it's done. But until then, until we hear that timer, we're going to start on the next item. Grandma Jane had the great idea of making a coffee cake. So I'm going to let her tell you what kind and tell her what's coming up here. It's a blueberry coffee cake and I'm going to use blueberries in it, but just to add a little more color for the 4th of July coming up, I'm going to add a little cherries to it. So we'll have the red, white, and blue. And first of all, we take two sticks of butter and put those in a bowl and cream them with a fork with a one and three fourths cup of sugar. This has been a popular coffee cake. Uh, it's been it's easy to fix. It feeds a lot. And again, and kids, um, we like to use glass bowls a lot of times for baking versus metal. And, and you can see it too. I think in an earlier episode too, I misspoke. You know, we go back. We we sometimes get tired or we we talk so fast we don't remember what what we really said. I misspoke when we talked about a metallic bowl before. Um, I said that vinegar and sugar apparently react and can cause a reaction when they get together in a, in a metallic bowl. I misspoke. I meant to say salt, but apparently after watching, I, after we taped, I said, Jane, our friend Sally, I said, did I say sugar? Because it seems like I said sugar. Yeah, you did. Oh, you guys, it was supposed to be vinegar and salt that can chemically react in a metal bowl. So at any rate, if you have those ingredients especially, you don't want to use a metal bowl. But other, lots of other things are good enough, to, uh, good to mix in a metal bowl. But especially with those ingredients, you want to be careful. So I like to use a get glass bowl. But let's look. Our timer just went off on the hash brown casserole. Oh, is it looking good? I think that I'm going to take it out because, especially since tonight, we're going to be eating this. I'm going to be putting it back in to warm it up later. But kids, if you could see this, I tell you, if we could zoom in, but uh, I'm scared that the butter is going to, whoops, pour onto the floor like the sloppy joe. I feel like Julia. <laughs> I feel like Julia Child. Oh, oh I dropped the towel. Uh, uh, oh, but who's to know? Uh, but yes, you can even see the butter pats. Um, it's just absolutely. I don't want to slobber butter all over, but careful. If you can kind of see, it's just fabulous looking. Now I'm going to turn that timer off. Okay, Jane, here we go. So, yep. sorry, I was dealing with no, that. Jane has okay. creamed up the sugar, and how much sugar? And, um, one and three fourths cup of sugar to two sticks of softened butter. Okay, where are we going next? And then we're going to add four eggs, one at a time. So I'm going to beat them. I'm going to. Uh, break them into this bowl just to be sure I don't get any shells. Good you idea. Get a shell, you know the secret to that, don't you? What's that? You take the shell and get it, put it in by the shell, and it goes to the shell. Yeah, and it, I, it works. I've done it many a time. Jane, you are full of handy tips. <laughs> many more than I. I think it's your experience in the kitchen. Never a dull moment here with cooking with Annie. Well, Annie. I'm not real experienced, but I'm far from dull. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there's four. That's done. And then after we get that all mixed up. I feel like a witch with her cauldron. <laughs> Make it in a stew. <laughs> then once we get to that the cauldron point, the portion. We can mix all the other ingredients in there as well. Hey, we could come up with a dance step. <laughs> oh yeah, it already is one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're being rated for a second here. <laughs> um, we just do a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of salt and more of the baking powder though. It's two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And let's see, we need the 
vanilla that's right there. Since I reach your gut. One teaspoon vanilla. I love the vanilla. Oh, oh yeah, it makes everything good, doesn't it? I always put it in my frostings that I make from scratch yeah, too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And if you put a little butter in there, melted butter too, it makes them shiny. Kind of shiny. So, makes what shiny? The frosting. <laughs> Okay, two and a half cups flour. So I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. And Jane just mixed up. stumbled on something too. One thing I did as a kid was a lot of baking. I didn't do a lot of cooking. Um, that's where I'm really trying to catch up. But I did a lot of baking, um, kind of the same things over and over. Mom always wanted me to make cakes or cookies or things while she was at work, which was fine. Because we always, we were a family, always had dessert. Yeah. Always, always. And so we always had desserts that we could either take out of the freezer or refresh on the counter till they were gobbled up. But Jane hit a good point. You don't want to throw all the flour in a recipe in at once because it's just harder to mix it up when you've got that great big mound of flour in there. Mm -hmm. Just do it just bit gradually, by bit. Yeah, say a cup or so at a time. And then once all this is mixed up, so it's not a whole lot to it, we can spread it. I already pre-buttered with Pam. Well, a spray paint butter anyway. Um, this size pan, which I believe they call a, what is the, a turnout? No, no, I'm blanking out. Oh, Isn't that like a brownie pan? Uh, a baking sheet? Um, what did they used to make that rolled up? Oh, a Swiss roll pan. On that order, yeah. The or, uh, no. Ah, my you grandma used no, to make them. Say it. Turnovers? Sure. No. I'll come up with it. I shouldn't have even mentioned it. <laughs> like a, uh, um, they call this also, besides a cookie sheet, another pan, a name, and I'll come up with it. So, just forgot. My well, now it's going to drive me crazy. Yeah, my grandma used to make. Why don't you get on the internet there and see what? Like you roll with jelly, a uh, jelly roll. Jelly, yeah, jelly roll. roll pan. You came up with it. All right, right. amazing. Okay. Yeah, and would you? You're getting tired. I can do it. Go on. Well, doing that's... good. Well, it's not the arm, it's the wrist that's getting a little tired, so I'm going to oh, let you give okay. that a stir. I get a little hand cramp there. <laughs> I tell you what, it's tempting to not get into that that hash brown casserole. Um, it smells good. That's I wanted to talk to you kids while she's stirring, too, because it's going to be a second or two. Um, on an earlier episode, we think that, that we think the tape uh, got lost or, or ruined, so we're going to redo the recipe where we talked about this, so we might as well bring it up now. Um, these are just like one item for breakfast, and so a lot of times you're going to want other things with it. And a lot of times people want meats of some kind for more protein. You might want bacon or you might want sausage. And in another episode that we're going to redo, like I said, we, uh, we had bacon in a lot of our salads, like the cob and the seven layer salad. And we were going to do, I'm going to remake a tape of the broccoli salad we're going to do down the road. But it all those have bacon, and it's, and Bacon is a very common thing to have for breakfast, and we learned that the in an English breakfast, they had a rasher, a rasher of sausage <laughs> or bacon. That's correct. Me. And I thought, a rasher? What is a rasher? Well, in, a, in an English breakfast, a rasher is three slices of bacon. And sure enough, when we looked in a certain recipe, that's what brought this up. Yeah. It said I needed eight rashers of bacon. And I thought, I said to Jane, what is the rasher? I don't know. So we looked yeah. it up, and it's from an English breakfast, three thin slices. Then I looked at it again in the, on the internet, and it said rasher is a thin slice of bacon. Well, according to the old times, it was three pieces or three slices in an English breakfast. So mm -hmm. again, you may want a rasher. A rasher of bacon with any of these breakfast items. Uh, I think it'd be so English. I think it'd be extraordinary. And when I speak like this, I feel so snooty. I feel so snub and snooty. Okay, so back to this, Jane. You have pre-panned or greased the sheet, uh -huh. the jelly roll pan, the cookie yep. sheet, the the brownie pan, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Now, does this have to be perfectly smooth, Jane? When no, you, when but you... it, it ends up being very smooth. So, because your butter's already creamed and you know there might be there's not really any chunks to it now could a person also um you take about three-fourths of it and put it on here before you put the fruit on could a person also use a hand mixer or a yes oh definitely a, a counter mixer or, yeah, yeah whatever mm -hmm. do you want some more of this no because i want to save that for the top okay about three-fourths of it comes in down here 
takes a minute to spread it out. It's really thick. It's yummy though. What reminded me, speaking of the rashes, is my London bone mitt that I I know that I purchased in London. When I travel, I like to get things. In the old days, I got just cheap stuff. And now I like to get useful things when I travel so I can think about all the memories of my trips when I use those things. So, was that when you traveled with Georgie? You know? um, I don't know if it was, I think, I don't know if it was the Georgie trip or the Mom and Patrice trip, but She's one another. of those. That's the only two times I've been over to London. Anyway. She's another dear friend of ours. Georgie. Who's an excellent cook as well. Who was in Still Magnolias with yes. us. And guess what Anne was? Anybody can guess that? Weezer! <laughs> if you've ever watched Still Magnolias, which... Well, I, I, I really wanted that it. part, and apparently they thought that that was the good part for me, so... Imagine <laughs> that, kids. <laughs> I was Shelby's mom. My way. Sally Field rule. It was most fun, 1994. Everybody was well cast. Georgie, our friend she was just speaking of, was Claire Reed. Yeah. So she and I were partners in crime um, on and off the stage. Yeah. If you can't say anything nice about me, come sit or come, come sit, sit by, by me. me. Yeah. They had a lot of cute lines. My dad there. loved her in that. He thought she was And we still say if somebody's got a cute pair of shoes, they're too cha for words. Yep. That was a fun line. You know that. I love you more than my luggage. I mean, there's so <laughs> many. There's so many. A bunch okay, of them. I've got this spread out pretty good. And Does it have to be puffer. perfect? No, because it's going to bake and fill in you know okay some of us again are more perfectionists than others and that's okay so I'm gonna just kind of swirl this through I'm not gonna be fancy with it usually I only use a can of this but I'm gonna use now normally I think you said Jane that, that you normally just use the blueberry yeah usually but yeah, you're you gonna put cherry anything. in because of the fourth coming yeah. up next week yeah. we're only um Nine days away from the fourth here. And you can use and apple too. It doesn't have to be, so, you know, restrained. So food. any kind of fruit pie filling is essentially the correct, right? Right. And what, what size of, did you get here? Oh, uh, what size is this? Looks like it's a 21 ounce can and that must be as well. Mm -hmm. Kids are gonna wanna know how big a can there or anybody watching, like I say. We hope not just kids are watching it even though we're gearing it for kids. Some of you adults out there, uh, Hopefully you're learning something and, and are entertained by the show as well. That is very pretty, like the it floor. Is. And then at the end, you just put what's left on it, kind of dab it around, dollop it around so it sort of uh, covers it, covers okay. it up a little bit. It doesn't take Do you that want much. a different spoon or is that? No, I think I'll work? use between the knife and the okay. spoon, which should work. It's sort of uh, heavy. Why? But it's eggs or what? It just it doesn't have that. as much liquid of some kind of oil. Yeah. Or, uh, we're excited about next week too, kids. With the fourth upcoming, we're going to have uh, a fun week next week for the fourth. We're going to salute some of our states in this great United States. We're make some dishes that are common to that region or area or that state, and so we're looking forward to that. We hope you tune in. Um, we will be donning some Fourth of July. Uh, wonderful clothing attire, or attire yeah. and uh, hopefully we'll we'll really make a special dessert at the end of that week too to celebrate our birthday yes our definitely. wonderful birthday and what birthday will this be kids do you know this is 2010 and let's say we go back to 1776 oh boy so you'll have to do the math girls can you tell me what, what birthday this is for us? Or do you need your phone or your calculator? Well, 26 years and 30 is what? 56, so is it 256? Well, or am I off? 76. Okay, go to on. Get up to, to, to get yeah. up to the next, was it 24 years? Yeah, 24. Okay. 24. Okay. And that's been how many hundred years since? 1776. 244. Good job. Are you? Thank you, Olivia. Our, Olivia. We've got our darling Olivia who's been helping us tape until my niece is here taking tutorials with Olivia. So that she'll be taking over the, the baton here because we're losing hi. Olivia. And wait to see this <laughs> yeah. darling Olivia. And she's moving away with her sister Amy, our friend Sally's daughter. And she's so talented. She's been and like our niece is. since she was born. We <laughs> held her as a baby, didn't we, Jane? Yes. Her and her sister yep. Amy. And they are moving onward and upward to the next chapter of their life. 
And so she is here. Um, she's going to be one eating with us tonight. She's been taping with us. She's been supportive. She's we call awesome. her and she drops everything and comes. So we love her and we're shouting yep. out how much we love Liv and her, and her sister Amy. Right. And we'll be coming to visit so much that they'll be tired of us. <laughs> and that's a promise. <laughs> Well, okay, so Jane, Olivia. you you dolloped it and then kind yes. of spread it around. So now, now what do we do? Into the 350 oven that we already have set for 30 to 35 minutes. Well, how perfect to make it after the hash yeah. brown casserole. <laughs> I'll start your uh, timer then once you get it in there. All right. What rack should the kids put um, it in on? I just a middle of the rack of the oven. Middle oven. rack. Okay. Yeah. I put it on the top one, but that's not real high, so. Okay, it's not too close to the. And then, are we going to wait and pull that out or stop now, or how are we going to Well, that? I think we can stop this episode and, like the hash browns, pull it out. Did you say how long, 30 some? 30 to 35. Let's start at 30, kids. Again, we can always put it in longer or yeah. keep it in longer, but we don't want to overdo. We can't go backwards. Once it's overdone, right. it's overdone. We keep trying to stress that to you. We, you can tell we've learned from experience how things yes. we sometimes overcooked or, or yep. burnt. Okay, so this was a little shorter episode, and then we're going to go on to something else that we can be fixing while this is baking. And probably the next episode or the one after, we'll be pulling out that wonderful coffee cake that Jane taught us how to make, especially colorful for the fourth. Yep. So in signing off, Jane, what would you say? Um, just be safe out there, especially with the fourth coming and everything going on. Just take care of yourself, and we love you. That's right. I would say, kids, try not to stress, try not to be too anxious, and if your anxiety ever overcomes you, remember to, you can always talk to somebody that you trust and that you love. Um, like we talked about in an early episode, there's no problem that can't be solved. So if you and a loved one can't get it solved, there are professionals out there that can help you solve um, your problems, your issues, that can help you work through your anxiety. Because um, you just your mental health is as important as your physical body health, okay? If not more important, because if you're not healthy up here and your emotions aren't healthy, they can actually cause you problems in your body. That's how strong your mental health is, okay? So don't be afraid, don't be too anxious, and if you do get anxious, you know how to fix it now, okay? And don't be embarrassed by it, because we all have periods of anxiety and we all have periods where we're sad or down. So don't be afraid to share those feelings, get them out. You know, I watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood last night, and boy, was that man special. He could yeah. get out the feelings of, of people of all ages, and he was so good for kids. He was yeah. just a beloved a man, person. and he genuinely cared about mm -hmm. all those kids that he reached out to, and that's the same for Jane and I. We genuinely yeah. care about all of you kids. We do want you to be safe, and we do love you, and we'd love to meet all of you, and yeah. hopefully down the road we're going to have a blog or a site that you can write into us, and we will write you back and, and share our feelings and share your concerns or your or your joys or your 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 um, problems with us, and we'll do the best we can to help you out, okay? So down the road, look forward to that. And anybody, of course, like we said, can write in or give us their comments mm -hmm. or concerns. So until next time, we hope we see you on... Now we're cooking!